if nothing else, the Rogan interview with Donald Trump reconfirmed Trump's memory is gone. His brain is mush. His cognition has turned to mayonnaise. I've got a bunch of examples. These are from the Rogan interview. Donald Trump claimed that he was on Oprah's show last Thursday. Her show ended more than a decade ago. OK, take the, uh, exhibit A. When you were on Oprah's show, very. she was encouraging you. Last to be week I did one of her last shows. I think. Last week I did one of her last shows. Maybe Thursday or Friday. That was a big deal. Being it was Thursday or Friday of last week. The show has been over for more than a decade. You last week I did one of her last shows. I think maybe Thursday or Friday. That was a big deal being on Oprah's show, the last one. And I was like one of the last shows in that mm. last. Very, very weird. Very weird. What is Trump talking about? Trump tried to do one of his history stories, completely fabricates it. Uh, Trump claims that President Lincoln was depressed because his son had died, but his son died six years after Lincoln. So it doesn't make any sense. Right. All of a sudden I'm standing in the White House and it was uh, very, very surreal. That room was so beautiful to me, much more beautiful than it actually is. You know, to me, when I looked at the bed and the bed, you could see it was a little bit longer, had to be a little bit longer. Uh, he lost his son and they suffered. The two of them suffered from melancholia. They didn't call it depression. Uh, they called it melancholia and they suffered from it. He was a very depressed guy and she was a very depressed woman, more so than him. And on top of that, they lost their son, whose name was Ted, Ted. And uh, it was uh, just seeing it in the little pictures, a little. Yeah. So anyway, Tad died six years after Lincoln died. Trump then has no memory of playing golf right after getting shot. This is really weird. And Rogan sort of tries to convince him. No, you you did play golf right after you got shot. Trump seems to have no memory of it whatsoever. But it gives me a little exercise, but I haven't played uh, in a long time. I won a lot. Of, I won 32 club championships. Can Didn't you, you play right after you got shot? Uh, no, uh, where I, what I did is I played with Bryson DeChambeau. Do you know Bryson? Yes. The pro. Uh huh. He's a great player. And we played, it was a certain thing that we played, I guess called breaking 50 or something. 50 we play from a certain tee and if you can break 50. And it got tremendous ratings, it was sort of like a crazy thing. It, it got tremendous. He's a great guy. But wasn't He's a that great like a couple golfer. of days after you got shot? I don't know. I, I know I, I think haven't. That was one of the funniest I, things I, you I were on the have, golf course. I, I think I did. Yeah, maybe I did. Maybe I did. So so Rogan has to convince Trump. like, no, golf. After, no, 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 no. I don't even play any. I haven't played for a while. What? What are you talking about? You're playing golf all the time and you, you were on the golf course the next day. What do you mean? And by the end of this, Trump's like, maybe I did. Yeah, I don't know. Is it that Trump doesn't remember? Is it that Trump is just so used to lying about everything for no reason that he's just like, I don't know, I'll just keep lying. Uh, Rogan asked Trump what it was like on his first day in office. Trump doesn't understand the question. Rogan clarifies the question. Trump still doesn't and understand the question of what was it like on your first day as president? President, you don't really know what it's going to be like when you actually get into office. What was the what did you think so it was going to be in like in office or when I decided to run? So no, you, when you got in, uh, when I was when in, so in. when I was in and won and was in the White House, essentially. Yes. yes. Well, first of all, it was very surreal. I would you imagine. Know, it's very interesting. When I got shot, it wasn't surreal. That should have been surreal. When I was laying on the ground, I knew exactly what was going on. I knew exactly where I was hit. <laughs> they were saying you were hit all over the place because it was so much blood from the ear. You would know that better than anyone. When they get the ear torn Ears up. Ears bleed a lot. They yeah. bleed. Anyway, so, and, and I was thinking the other day, when, when that happened, I really knew where I was. I knew exactly what happened. I said I wasn't hit anywhere else. With the, with the presidency, it was a very surreal experience, okay? Like and what's day one like? So, you win, yeah, you get inaugurated, so, so, holy shit, I'm the president. Yeah. When you're anyway, running. so Trump opting to tell a story about his ear when he's asked about his first day in the White House. And finally, Donald Trump claimed that Lincoln had a phobia of Robert E. Lee and that they didn't get along or something. 
Lincoln and Robert E. Lee never met. I mean, it's, a, it's another one of these completely fabricated stories. I don't know. I've never read this. I heard it from people in the White House who really understand what was going on with, with the whole life of the White House. But Lincoln had uh, the yips about, uh, in a way, as the golfers would say. He had mm. a phobia about Robert E. Lee. He said, I can't beat Robert, because Robert E. Lee won many battles in a row. He was just beating the hell out of him. You know, they tried to get Robert E. Lee to be on the North, but he said, no, I have to be with my state. You know, the state was his whole thing, and, and he went to the South. And he was, uh, I've had generals tell me, we have some great generals, the real generals, not the ones you see on television, the ones that beat ISIS with me. We defeated ISIS in record time. It was supposed to take years, and we did it in a matter of weeks. These are great generals. These are tough guys. These are not woke guys. But their favorite general in terms of genius was Robert E. Lee. In terms of strength. Yeah. So anyway, he tells this Lincoln phobia story about Robert E. Lee. Historians have investigated it. They have been able to find no evidence of it whatsoever. So in some total, Trump incoherent during the interview, telling a number of completely made up stories that are they, they seem indicative of Trump's memory being gone and Rogan doing a pretty me mediocre job with the occasional question that gets Trump to say something really, really dumb in the net. There are those saying this interview is the death of the Trump campaign. And there are those saying this interview just saved Trump's campaign because so many people saw it. My prediction is it doesn't move the needle one way or the other. One of our sponsors is Zipix nicotine toothpicks. Don't you think it's time you stopped putting smoke and vape oils in your lungs? Zipix toothpicks are a convenient way to curb the nicotine cravings. Zipix toothpicks are super discreet. You can use them anytime, anywhere. Smoking and vaping aren't allowed, including flights, sporting events in restaurants. They're available in six different flavors with options of two and three milligrams of nicotine. If you're not a nicotine user, Zipix also offers caffeine and B12 infused toothpicks. Zipix has already helped tens of thousands of customers ditch the cigarettes, ditch the vapes. They might be able to help you too. If you're a smoker or a vapor, give Zipix toothpicks a try. Your lungs will thank you. Go to zipixtoothpicks.com today. Save 10% with the code PACMAN10 at checkout. Just remember, you must be 21 or older to order. The link is down below.